Hello and welcome to another YouTube tutorial on the Mudra channel. This is Uchwal and I have a fun and easy card to share with you today. I will be using the beautiful butterfly stamp set that was a part of our August release and uh, I have taken one of these butterflies and I'm going to ink it up with distressings. I will be using two shades of distressings, one for the center body part of the butterfly and another color for the uh, wings. So this will give me a fun contrast and uh, add that shading to the butterfly. Now I'm going to mist some water on it. I'm not adding too much, just enough to uh, bubble up the color that I have on the stamp. And then I'm going to stamp it onto some watercolor paper. And I'm going to hold it there for a little while, just so the paper gets a chance to absorb some of that water. And whatever is left, I'm going to just tap it Tap the paper onto the surface so that it flows and it has this flowy watercolory look. I'm going to do the same thing again with the butterfly and again I'm going to use the same two colors and just the same method. I'm going to mist it with water. So misting it with water will let the colors flow into each other. They'll, it'll help eliminate the harsh lines um, of the color that might be there when I put the ink with the stamp pad and it just makes the uh, butterfly look all watercolored and beautiful so again I'm tapping the paper on the surface just to let excess water and color run uh, downwards so that I get this cool uh, messy kind of a look onto the butterflies now for the third butterfly, I took the uh, another butterfly stamp that was on the uh, stamp set but I used the same colors and the same method and I'm going to just stamp it um, in a similar way letting it sit on the paper a little while and just rocking the stamp a little bit so that uh, the stamp doesn't lose its definition uh, and it's still, uh, it still looks like it's watercolored. So you can see that I have all these butterflies um, onto the watercolor paper. Now it's time to have some fun. So I'm taking some color onto the craft sheet and I will pick this up with my watercolor brush and uh, paint in the butterflies. So I'm using a shade of purple and again I list down all the colors of distressings that I'm using into the description below. Uh, on the blog as well so I'm just uh, lightly coloring in uh, the inside of the butterfly and I'm not being very specific here I'm not covering all of it I am just randomly adding the purple uh, and I'm also leaving out some white spaces so that uh, they shine through at the end Next, I'm going to cover in the background. I have Salty Ocean Distress Ink here. Uh, it is one of my recent favorite distress inks. I love how bright the blue is. So I'm just using a very little color and a whole lot of water and uh, just kind of adding a background for those butterflies to sit in. And you can see that the water, the consistency of the color is very little and I'm just diluting the color a lot. I'm squeezing my water brush in between a lot so that there's more water and less color. I'm just lightly adding the background, mixing in the colors here and there, uh, adding a bit of purple and adding a bit of blue and then a little bit of green. So I'm just um, adding a background and once I'm happy with it, I'll let it be. Uh, next, I thought uh, the antennas of the butterflies uh, had just lost their definition onto the watercolor background. So I'm just adding a little bit more of purple to indicate uh, the antennas onto the butterfly. And there you go, you can see the white uh, places areas that are left out and I'm just going to heat it up and make sure it's completely dry before we work on it further now 
Now I still wanted some more messiness, watercolory look to it. So I grabbed some more of uh, distress ink and I just added, um, I'm just squeezing ink with water onto the butterfly so that you know they run down a little bit and uh, just kind of hoping for that messy look and uh, just heating it up and now it's time to stamp the sentiment this is my favorite trick i love taking that transparency sheet and uh, positioning it onto my cardstock to see if the stamp set will go well together onto the card so you can see again i'm adding some more definition to the antennas and now we're going to stamp the sentiment using the archival black ink and then I just went ahead and mounted it to onto a purple note card with some foam adhesive. And here is the look at the final card. It's super simple, super easy and it looks gorgeous. Thank you for watching today. Have a great day.